A pair of binoculars and a monocular have clear advantages over each other. A monocular has a single viewing tube, whereas binoculars have two. However, are two lines always preferable to one? The short answer is no, of course. In many situations, a monocular would be preferable to a pair of binoculars. However, monoculars frequently go unnoticed in the world of optics. You will discover the main distinctions between a monocular and a pair of binoculars in this video. So, without any delay, let's get started. Monocular Overview A monocular is essentially just a set of binoculars cut in half. They are similar to telescopes in that they only have one viewing tube. However, the magnifications are not nearly as strong. Applications Monoculars are smaller and less clunky than traditional binoculars, so they can be a great choice for carry-along magnification optic. There's also less of a chance of knocking it around on something and causing damage. Most monoculars are very lightweight as well and have straps that allow you to wear them around your neck. Lens and Prism The lens and viewing mechanism of a monocular often utilize the Poro Prism design. This design, originally used in binoculars and developed by Ignacio Poro in 1854, works on the principle of a curved lens acting with a prism. The lens is designed to capture the light from farther distances and amplify it, while the prism takes the image and inverts it. Magnification When it comes to magnification, monocular and binos are on a level playing field. After all, a monocular is just one half of a set of binoculars, but there are some effects of looking at magnified objects with just a singular view tube. Binoculars Overview If you're looking for a real general purpose optic, a good set of binoculars is probably your best bet. They are handy in just about every situation you'd need an optic. Applications You can use binoculars for just about anything you need optic enhancement for, and they are comfortable to use even for extended periods of time. Use binoculars with ease at sporting events, tracking deer, or just exploring the urban jungle. However, while they may be comfortable on your eyes, binoculars can get heavy. And although most binos come with a strap or sling that allows you to wear them around your neck or off shoulder, they tend to weigh you down over time. Lenses and prisms. Binoculars work off three systems, Poro, Galilean, or roof prisms. As a matter of fact, Galilean monoculars were developed first, and the Poro and roof prism styles evolved into modern binoculars. However, the monocular has a slight advantage here because there's only one set of prism and lens instead of two. That's because this is the most expensive part of the entire optic, and with binoculars, you have to pay for both. Magnification Binoculars and monoculars have very similar magnification specs. They generally come in the same levels of amplification. They amplify enough to give you a clearer image at a distance, but don't quite boost it enough for extreme distances or in-depth astronomy you'll need a telescope for that. Field of view Even the worst binoculars will have a bigger field of view than the best ones, and that's because you're using both eyes. The twin viewing tubes allow for a much wider range of vision. This makes binoculars ideal for scouting, scanning, and watching active events. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.